What are you ghouls making? It smells good! Hi, Dad! I'm making split pea soup! And what are you making, Fangelica? I'm making dessert! Earthworm pie! That was Draculaura's mother's favorite! Oh, Dad! You haven't mentioned Mom in so long! Oh, I miss her so much! I wish you hadn't said that! I'm sorry, I'm not hungry anymore. You guys start without me. Mr. Dracula, who is Draculaura's mother? Ah, her name was Draculana, and she loved Draculaura very much. But she was too afraid to come out of hiding, believing that monsters and humans could not unlive together. Well, where is she now? Now that is a good question. The last time I used the map log to find her, I could not. All I found was a note saying, Do not look for me anymore. Ah, <sighs> Draculaura was heartbroken. Thank you, Mr. Dracula. You have given me a great idea. Draculaura's done so much for me, I now know what I can do for her. Wow, you ghouls have outdone yourselves. This looks delicious. Thank you, Dad. Fangelica worked very hard on tonight's supper. Fangelica, what are you doing? I'm trying to get this chair. We have an extra guest tonight. Oh? Did you invite someone from school? No, I don't know whom she means. Perhaps it's a surprise. <laughs> Hello, everyone! I hope I'm not too late for dinner! And thank you for the invitation, Princess Van Bat. Dracuvana? Mom? I'm so glad you made it. Thank you for coming. Dracuvana, what are you doing here? It's been almost 3,000 years! Uh... Well... I see I still have the same effect on your dad as I always did, Draculaura. Hi, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal. I hope you enjoyed our little skit. It was actually my daughter's idea to create a mother for Draculaura and name her Dracuvana. Anyway, this video is about how I created a Monster High vampire kitchen shelf for my daughter to play with. As always, I started with an empty, large, open cube. I get these on Amazon, and they're under the Foremost brand. I took the Monster High Kitchen playset cardboard that came with the toy, and I cut out a few elements, such as the window, such as this shelf and cupboard, and the pictures of Draculaura and her dad and her uh, new little sister, Fangelica. Next, I chose this wallpaper for its multiple colors, and I chose this piece of black poster board for the floor, and I went ahead and started to glue the wallpaper to the walls of the shelf. For the dining room section, I switched to a pink, and then I noticed that the wallpaper has bubbled up because I guess I used Elmer's glue instead of Mod Podge. I didn't apply it evenly. And then I added black duct tape to the top and bottom margins. Then I glued on the pictures of the cardboard cutouts that I had done. I'm not that worried about the fact that the wallpaper is bubbling because after all, vampires live for thousands of years and you can expect that their kitchen wallpaper is probably old, right? At least that's what I'm telling myself. And there's the black poster board floor. I did put some Monster High tape feedy around the margins to give it a little bit more of a distinguishing edge. And here we have our basic kitchen. With a silver Sharpie, I decided to add some more detail and interest to the floor. I used this piece of rectangular paper as a straight edge. And I basically just started drawing uh, vertical, I'm sorry, diagonal lines across the floor. When I got done with that, I decided to take the silver Sharpie and draw little hearts at the intersection of each of the diagonal lines to give the floor a little bit more of an interesting look. And now I finished drawing hearts at those intersections. And now I think we're ready. Remember this, uh, this wooden table? I painted it black. 
Then I drew a little bat on a piece of uh, pink felt, and I'm going to use that as a sort of a dining room rug, and I'll put the table that I painted black on top of that. For curtains, I decided to use this piece of fabric. I found this at Joann Fabrics, and I liked it for Draculaura because of its colors. I took a dowel rod and covered it up with Monster High Tape Feedy, painted two of these blocks black, hot glued the blocks to the dowel rod, hot glued the fabric around the top of the dowel rod. To make the fabric stay, I'm using this black and silver zebra pattern fabric, and there I've done with the curtains. And actually, I am done with the kitchen, except that there seems to be this empty spot on the wall there in between the oven and the first picture, so I made a little sign with ghosts that says, we don't bite. Well, that's it guys, it was pretty easily done. I'd like to end the video with a couple shout outs. First, to Miraculous Gamer Girl 101, Toys Fuzz, and finally to LPS Lucy Cute Fox. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this Monster High Vampire Kitchen, and I will see you guys again soon.